Hello again, YouTubers. Alrighty, so today we're going to actually look at some props. And mainly the three inch props. Um, ever since I've had my first die tone, which this little guy. Let me see if I can actually find one that I, yeah, here's one. Uh, I've always used the uh, Gym Fan Flash 3052s. These. Uh, just being curious, the main props I use on my quads, my 5 inch quads and 6 inch quads, are the Doll Prop Cyclones. This is one that's actually damaged. I don't know why it's still in my prop bucket, but this is what I usually use. For a 3 inch, this is the doll prop cyclone for a 3 inch. Now, these two blades compared to each other, this one just physically looks larger compared to this one. Oh, upside down. But they are both 3 inch blades, but this has a 5.6 inch pitch, so. Honestly, when I got it, I was expecting a little more performance compared to this, the Jam Fan Flash. Biggest problem I didn't like about the Jam Fan Flash is anytime you crashed, if you messed up the wing tip out here, little pointy part, wouldn't fly right anymore. So, and it was really easy to damage that, so you would have to change prop pretty much immediately. So that's why I want to try something else, and I'm I keep trying different props just to see what else is out there. Like right now on my my very first quad that I built, my Martian, I'm trying the Ethics S3 props just to see uh, lower pitch than what I fly. Usually I'm flying about 50, 46, so a 4.6 inch pitch. But I'm running uh, usually 2450 kV motors. The only quad that I have that has some lower KV motors is my Chameleon and it uses 2200 KV but 2507 motors and I run it on 5S so a little bit lower KV but more voltage so but I mean just the, um, the first thing I noticed when I put them on this guy because I have both of the diatones I have the stretch X I don't have the plus because honestly it doesn't interest me but I have the normal X and the stretch X the stretch X because it's so fast I actually uh, put a R9 mini receiver in it I'll probably do that to this right now I'm just running the R XSR free sky and a dipole antenna because just flying by myself mainly just trying to get it tuned in but I tried these props on it and just the only thing that I really notice about these props is it didn't grab as much I didn't have as much bite into the air so I was able to do for some reason it felt a little more agile around curves because it wasn't as tight as locked in but i get didn't get the speed i didn't get the acceleration the grunt that i did with the the gym fans which usually when i find a prop i like it i stick with it but now i'm trying different props just to see what's out there uh i gotta say buying three four sets of these was a mistake because yeah I've got four sets of them now and I'm not even going to be running them I mean I, I'll probably run them just to use them up but yeah and I will say this one I've crashed the these motors or the original motors off this one but I ended up breaking the original frame and I found someone that was actually building one but he had stopped so he had everything except a camera no had a camera but it didn't have a stack, but it had the motor. So I just had to have, add a stack, a receiver, and a VTX. And that's when I started using the, uh, yeah, the Daito Mamba. Great stack. Gotta say, it's a very great, very good stack. I haven't had a single problem with it. Yet I've heard a lot of people talk about pads lifting. I've only had one lifted pad, and it was on my own fault. 
when you're ever unsoldering something, never pull at the wire that's on the pad because that's when it's going to lift. You let the heat do the job. But, yeah, sadly, I ordered four sets from, I believe it was Get FPV or Race Day Quads or, uh, I like how Race Day Quads actually bought out some of Rotor Riot because that's just going to make his name and Race Day Quads get bigger because everybody knows Rotor Riot. But I order from Race Day Quads. They're both right in the same area, Florida, uh, around the Orlando area. So, yeah, I order from Race Day Quads, but I don't, I've never ordered from Rotor Riot because I've heard that they never keep anything in stock. So, yeah, this, these are the props that I bought. 8205 is the uh, part number, but this is, it, it all started with my Baby Hawk. This is a damage blade, but it's the 2540s. Always flew great, but every time I crashed, I broke this, this little wing tip pitched. And based on what I've learned from airplanes and airfoils and stuff like that, this little wing tip right here it helps it from the lift going to the top side or uh, from going from one side to the other and that's why airplanes nowadays you see those little parts coming up like this off the wings and that's what this does and the cyclones do not have that at least these little ones do not have that at all the HQ props don't have that I like the HQ props to a point, but I still like my Cyclones, but these Cyclones, mm -mm. I'm probably going to get some Gem Fan Flash uh, 5045s if uh, available and try them on my 5 inch and just see if there really is that big of a difference. Because I'm, I'm finding I really like the Gem Fan props, I mean, yeah, you got to be careful. They just, I got a whole bucket over here just full of props. So... Uh, that's what's going on with me and props. I saw the RC Addict. He got the new Racecraft 5051 props. And they completely changed their design. I mean, I remember when Racecraft first came out with 5051. Just that crazy design. That extreme pitch. A very aggressive design. Uh, a lot of hype with them and they flew great. And I'm probably going to order some of those as well just to see. I mean, I want to try different blades now that I'm, I mean, my, my whoops sit now. I'm just, I'm more into my big guys. I mean, I fly these every now and then, but I've got two tiny hawks. That's it. This one has a uh, different camera, actually a better camera than stock. And I have the Beta FPV 75 Pro 2, which sits. It's just my other quads are more fun, more exhilarating, do a lot more, and they fly a lot better. So yeah, that's what I think about these props and these cyclones. So this is what I use, and I absolutely love them. Uh, but Racecraft does make some 30, 30, 52 five blade props and I have a buddy that has some 3750 1408 motors that he's using them on and says they're very good and more blades the more bite you get uh, the more I mean just the more blades uh, the more area you have to grab the air but yeah not a fan of these at all I really expected more. Uh, not a huge fan of these, but they work very well. I just don't like the design and how if you wreck it all and hurt a prop, you got to replace them immediately. I mean, it's just they're very fragile, especially the tip. Uh, with the cyclones, at least if you bend it, you can just bend it back. That's what I liked about cyclones. Unless you break off the tip, if it bends, you can bend it back. Keep going. So. Yeah, that's it for today. I got some work that I got to get done. So, like usual, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like the video. Peace.